Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and in this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to count quarter notes. Now, we're gonna discuss this just in the context of four, four time signature, and that just means that there's four beats in one bar. And standard, and standard music, the music that you'll listen to a lot, uh, is most likely in four, four time signature, and that's just standard rock and pop music. Um, so, if you're tapping out to a song or something, you're listening to your favorite song, and you're just like tapping out like that, chances are you're tapping quarter notes, okay? And quarter notes are just counted simply one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let me put on a metronome for you. We're gonna put it on at 70 beats per minute. And all I'm doing is I'm tapping on exercise one on the sheet music, all right? Let's put the metronome to 70 and hear how that sounds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. So when first starting out, teachers will always tell you, you must count out loud, you must learn to count out loud, even though we all look really, really stupid counting out loud. And that's so very important. I mean, I'm one of those guys that always got my students to count out loud no matter how stupid they felt and how awkward they felt, just because it'll help you so much. So once you got that quarter note down, it's just, you know, as simple as moving that around the kit and becoming comfortable with that note value. So we did number one, we just did that on our legs. Uh, now we're gonna do number two, and number two is basically just snare, high tom, mid tom, low tom. And I'm actually gonna alter my hands. I'm gonna snare, mid, or high, snare, high tom, mid tom, low tom. Snare, mid tom, high tom, mid tom. What, a, what did I drink today? I don't know what's going on with me. Okay, so let's put the metronome to 70 beats per minute and hear how that sounds. So between each quarter note, the space is the same. I'm not going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm not doing any of that. The space is consistent. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you can use a metronome, that's the best. Now you can get metronomes online for free. Just type in metronome online, Google it, and you're going to find that. Um, we have. Uh, metronome loops and stuff on our website so if you need any of that kind of stuff you have no excuse for not using a metronome because if you're able to watch this video you're able to play along with the metronome all right simple as that uh, now let's go to the next one the next one we're basically going to start using core notes with all of our limbs except our left foot so the bass drum is on counts one and three the snare drum is on counts two and four and the hi-hat is on all four counts okay so all you have to think is snare drum on two and four so one two three four, and then you have to think bass drum on one and three. So one, two, three, four. Simple as that. If you're counting out loud, this will not be hard for you. Here we go. So the next step is to actually take a rest within the bar. I want to show you what a quarter note rest looks like. So if you look at exercise four, on count three, there's this weird little squiggly line. I couldn't draw it by hand if I wanted to, uh, but that's just on count three. So all that means is when we get to count three, don't play anything. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. Okay, so that's all that means if you see that anywhere. Okay, so now let's jump to exercise five. Exercise five, we're playing a beat like we played uh, in exercise three, and then we're actually playing a fill within time, snare, high tom, mid tom, low tom, and that's just like exercise two. We're just kind of fusing them together. So play the beat, go to the fill. Play the beat, go to the fill. Okay, so here we go at 70 beats per minute.
So hopefully you're starting to get it now. Hopefully you're counting along with me. You've got that solid one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's kind of what you've got to ingrain into your head. Um, and I know it, most of the people watching this video, you guys are going to be beginners. You're just going to be starting out. So this is absolutely crucial when you're first starting out. If you learn this, if you build a solid foundation, you're going to have way easier time and you're going to progress way faster um, get better. When you, and to get better at drums, it's going to be... Yeah, it's gonna be a breeze, so you're gonna absolutely love it. So let's go to number six, the final one, as basically the groove again. And then we're playing a fill with a rest on count two. So we go snare, rest, high tom, low tom. Here we go. So that's how to count quarter notes. Now when you've got this down and you're ready to move on, just check out the how to count eighth notes video and there's some more challenging exercises in there. Also, I make all of them relate back to the chord notes. So you see how different note values interact and you can see how you can apply different note values on the drum set. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Now get your kit and start practicing. Later.